The central nervous system forms as a hollow tube in embryos, and the spaces within the central nervous system are retained as the central canal of the spinal cord and the ventricles of the brain. The ventricles possess specialized regions known as choroid plexus, where cerebrospinal fluid is made. This cerebrospinal fluid helps to cushion the central nervous system and absorb shock, thus protecting it. It helps to float the central nervous system so that the cells which are inferior are not crushed by the weight of the brain. And it helps to regulate the chemical environment of nerve cells. Cerebrospinal fluid flows through two lateral ventricles, which uh, separate the lateral lobes of the thalamus with the inferior portions of the cerebrum. From here, CSF flows through an interventricular foramen to enter the third ventricle, which surrounds the thalamus at the midline of the brain. From here, CSF flows through a cerebral aqueduct, which passes through the midbrain with the superior and inferior colliculi dorsal to this, before entering the fourth ventricle at the base of the cerebellum. From here, CSF can pass through the central canal of the spinal cord, and ultimately it is reabsorbed in the arachnoid villi in the meninges which surround the central nervous system.